Okay, question 12. Now it's only eight marks, so it's probably really easy. Uh, so a sculpture formed from a prism is fixed on a horizontal platform as shown in the diagram. The shape of the cross-section of the sculpture can be modelled by the equation x squared add 2xy add 2y squared is equal to 10 where x and y are measured in meters. The x and y axes are horizontal and vertical respectively. Our job is to find the maximum vertical height of the sculpture above the platform. Ha, ah, right. So it's important here to realize that the platform is not the x-axis. So if we want to find the maximum height of the sculpture above the platform, we need to find the height between you know, this point and at this point. So let's call these points A and B. So we can see that at A and B, well, they are stationary points. So at A and B, dy by dx is equal to zero. If we were wanting to find the length of the sculpture, we would need to find this point here and this point here. Now at those two points, dx by dy would equal zero. We're not interested in those, just bonus information sometimes is fun. So, what we need to do then is find dy by dx. So, it's implicit differentiation, yay. So, we need to differentiate with respect to x, x squared add 2xy add 2y squared. Now if we differentiate the left hand side, we have to differentiate the right hand side. Sure, that's now our mission. Okay, so working through on the left, if we differentiate x squared with respect to x, we get 2x. Now, we need to differentiate 2xy. So remember, when we are doing this, we think of y as a function of x. So to differentiate 2xy, we're going to use the product rule. So by the product rule, our two functions here are 2x and y. So we do the derivative of the first function times the second function. So that's going to give us uh, 2y and then add the derivative of the second function times the first function. So that's going to give us 2x dy by dx and now of 2y squared we need to use the chain rule. So, 
if we differentiate y, first of all, we get dy by dx. And then if we differentiate 2y squared with respect to y, we get 4y. So it's dy by dx times 4y. And then on the right, the derivative of 10 with respect to x is 0. So that's what we have up to here. Okay, so now we need to remember what type of points A and B are. So at A and B, dy by dx is equal to 0 because they are stationary points. So if we now substitute dy by dx equals 0 into our equation above, we're going to be left with 2x plus 2y is equal to 0. Now remember, what we are trying to find is the y values at each point a and b. So, what we can do from this is find what x is in terms of y and then substitute that into the original equation of the sculpture. So, from this we can get 2x is equal to minus 2y, so x is equal to minus y. So now we're going to sub x equals minus y into uh, the original equation. Okay, so, just have a reminder, the original equation then is x squared add 2xy add 2y squared is equal to 10. So, we now know that we're going to run out of room, so let's go on to the next page. So, we now know x squared is y squared. Add, so we got add 2xy, uh, x is minus y, so now we got minus 2y squared, and then add 2y squared, and we know that is equal to 10, so y squared is equal to 10, therefore y is equal to plus or minus root 10. So the height between a and b is the difference between the two y values, so it's root 10 minus, minus, root, ten, which gives us 2 root 10. Good times. Question done.